In 2010, the US EIA predicted that by 2035 there will only be 140 electric cars globally. However, not only has this turned out to be a significant underprediction, electric vehicles have become so popular that analysis predict that it will take over the entire automobile industry in a few years. The market is expected to grow from $287.36 billion in 2021 to $1,318.22 billion in 2028, rising above the 2020 drop caused by the pandemic. Will ICE vehicles still remain in a few years? Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. In response to the expected increase in the demand for electric vehicles, several car companies have set targets for electric vehicle production for the upcoming years. BMW wants 50% of global sales to be electric before 2030. The German automaker set an interim target of selling 2 million electric vehicles by 2025. Likewise, Ford is planning for half of all vehicles it sells to be electric by 2030. By the end of 2023, Ford wants to produce 600,000 electric vehicles a year, and by 2024, it hopes to manufacture 270,000 Mac E's a year in North America, Europe, and China. The Tesla competitor plans to produce 150,000 Lightnings in North America and 150,000 electric transit vans for North America and Europe, and also sell 30,000 units of a yet-to-be-made electric SUV in Europe. Likewise, GM is committed to selling only zero-emission cars and trucks by 2035. Can electric vehicles continue to grow even far into the future? Let's find out, but before we start, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Tony Seba is a strong believer in technology disruption, the convergence of technologies, as well as the business model of innovation. He also believes in organizational capabilities and product innovation that leads to the creation of new industries and societies and the collapse of all existing ones. The Tesla fan had accurately forecast the speed and magnitude of the energy and transportation disruptions that are now unfolding. According to him, technology disruptions that are already underway in the energy, transportation and food sectors have extraordinary implications for climate change. He added that these three disruptions alone can directly eliminate over 90% of net greenhouse gas emissions worldwide within 15 years. Seba had further stated that solar, wind and batteries will disrupt coal, oil, and gas as autonomous electric vehicles which provide transportation as a service will disrupt internal combustion engines and private vehicle ownership. Just like Tony Seba, several analysts have predicted massive growth in the electric vehicle sector in the coming years, resulting in a decline in the manufacturing of internal combustion engine vehicles. Many analysts predict that manufacturers won't sell any internal combustion engine vehicles after 2028, and by 2035 to 2040 there will be next to no internal combustion engine vehicles on the road anymore. Seba noted that while there is massive adoption of electric cars, not every internal combustion engine maker can manufacture electric cars. Manufacturing an electric vehicle will require more than than just making electric cars to meet targets. Installing robust and accessible charging infrastructure and reducing the environmental impact of critical mineral extraction for electric vehicle batteries are just some of the attendant issues to making electric vehicle goals a reality. It is anticipated that there will be a huge electric vehicle transition over the coming years, and it is also expected that by 2030, electric vehicles will take over the entire automotive industry. Entire fleet of government-owned vehicles with internal combustion engines will be phased out and will be replaced with 100% all-electric vehicles by 2035 to 2040. All privately owned light duty vehicles with internal combustion engines will also be phased out and will be replaced with 100% electric vehicles by 2050. Like Seba, Ark Invest CEO, Cathy Wood had previously said that more people will key into electric vehicles as the demand for oil is expected to drop in the near future. Wood believes that the electric vehicle market is growing at a tremendous rate and it is becoming evident that more people will use electric cars in the coming years. The Tesla bull also stated that the possible shift to battery-powered automobiles is anticipated to drive the electric vehicle market. According to the ARK Invest CEO, the 2022-2024 period is said to be the most optimistic period for electric vehicle sales as new electric vehicle models will be launched and government policies globally are becoming more supportive of electric vehicles. At the end of 2021, the number of electric cars on the road exceeded 16.5 million. The global electric car stock will likely expand to almost 350 million vehicles by 2030, but future growth will hinge on efforts to diversify battery manufacturing and critical mineral supplies to reduce the risks of supply 
bottlenecks and higher prices. In the future, electric vehicle prices will likely decline to almost half of what they are pricing today, which will further boost interest in these cars. Electric cars already have a lot of advantages over internal combustion engine vehicles, and this is known to many. According to a study by Argonne National Laboratory, it was found that maintenance and repair of an electric transit bus is 40% less than the cost to maintain an internal combustion engine vehicle of the same size. Likewise, electric vehicles are more energy efficient. The average internal combustion engine has a fuel efficiency of only 40%, with 60% loss via heat and friction. As a result, internal combustion engines consume far more energy traveling the same distance as an electric vehicle. It has been assumed that the growing popularity of electric vehicles makes them more reliable than their internal combustion engine counterparts due to them having fewer moving parts and less reliance on oil. It takes a lot to make an electric car, and car companies cannot just switch to manufacturing these types of cars. Electric vehicles are a completely new technology. The amount of research and development being poured into developing electric vehicle technology is both eye-watering and staggering. But at the same time, the development of combustion engines is drying up. Combustion engines have long since matured with only incremental improvements made. While electric vehicles are just coming into their own space and even now are directly competitive with internal combustion engines, also, the price of electricity is much lower than that of gasoline or diesel. Once the cost of batteries fall, then the cost of the whole vehicle, buying an electric car and running it, will also be cheaper. The price of electricity is likely to be comparatively cheaper relative to gasoline going forward as solar and wind have now matured and are becoming much cheaper than coal. However, there are a few requirements for effective electric vehicle adoption. Mass adoption of electric vehicles will require regulatory support that advances installation of charges in residential and commercial buildings, as well as workplaces. The deployment of charging infrastructure, especially in densely populated urban areas, will be driven by city codes and local policies. Building codes and regulations will require the installation of electric vehicles' charges in new constructions and renovations, where feasible. Since electric vehicles are currently the most promising technology to replace internal combustion, engine vehicles. Charging infrastructure needs to expand substantially to meet projected growth and demand. To make electric vehicle charges more accessible and affordable, urban planners, building developers, and electrical equipment suppliers must integrate charging infrastructure into standard building design plans. Several government policies have supported EV adoption. For instance, in June 2022, members of the European Parliament voted to support the ban on the sales of diesel and petrol cars starting in 2035. The switch to electric cars is happening very fast, and a lot of people as well as countries are beginning to see the benefits of using clean energy. Countries like Australia have enforced policies to promote the sale and use of electric cars in these countries. In recent news, the Australian government disclosed plans to impose new regulations to help improve the affordability of electric cars and to boost their sales. In similar news, New York City recently announced that it is replacing about 925 ICE vehicles in the government fleet, with almost a thousand electric vehicles. It will also install 315 new electric vehicle chargers in the city, and both expenditures will be funded by federal grants. This is in addition to the $420 million approved for electric vehicles and supporting infrastructure at the end of 2021. Do you think electric vehicles will eventually dominate the auto market? Let us know your thoughts down below, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.